New at five, Fresno's newest top cop starting his first day on the job. Chief Paco Balderrama sworn in by his twin brother. He comes, he comes from the Oklahoma City Police Department where he was a deputy chief there. Our Madaris Bab joins us live from where the ceremony took place today. That would be City Hall. Madaris Balderrama being thrown into the fire here and tasked with getting a crime spike under control. Alexan Balderrama thought that he would initially have about a month to adjust to his new environment, but he says with over 20 shootings and five homicides, uh, homicides already this year, he has to change that and pretty much throw it out the window and has to act now. There's a lot of work to do, obviously. Things are going to change. Uh, we're going to work very hard to make the city a safer place to live. Do you solemnly swear? With his left hand on the Bible and his right hand in the air, Paco Balderrama sworn in as Fresno's next police chief by his identical twin brother, Beto. I do. Former chief and current mayor Jerry Dyer says a great chief must be loyal, honest, sacrificial, and compassionate. He believes Balderrama is the perfect fit. Today's a great day for Fresno, uh, hiring Paco Balderrama. Uh, I can promise you uh, the citizens of Fresno will not be disappointed in their new police chief. There's a lot of challenges, a lot of hurdles. Balderrama's biggest task at hand out of the gate, Fresno's skyrocketing crime rate. Just an hour and a half before the ceremony, a person rushed to the hospital and two people arrested after a shooting a couple blocks away from City Hall. There's a lot of issues that need to be addressed immediately, and uh, violent crime is, is, is number one. His other top priorities, community trust, and working to implement reform within the department. Lots of challenges uh, ahead of me, but uh, I think I have the staff and the partnerships to, to make a difference. Balderrama has become the first uh, Latino to be police chief for the city. He replaces Andrew Hall, who took over in October of 2019. He is retiring. Reporting live from downtown, Madeira's Bab, KC24, local news that matter.